how to create this scroll triggered image expand effect. It's so quiet and smooth that it sets the tone for the entire website. When I scroll back up, it goes back into a circle like this. And look, here is another example. This is actually a real place not far from where I have my web design agency in Denmark. So in this video, you will learn how to recreate this image effect on your own website so you can impress your visitors. It's free and we only need to insert a few lines of code. And it's of course also responsive. So let's get started. As you can see, I'm now inside the Elementor editor, but I have deleted the entire section so we can recreate it from scratch. But just a quick side note before we do that, because you can actually also just skip the design headache and download this as a ready to import template. Just click the link in the description below and click I want this. And then you get this downloadable Elementor file. Just click download and then go into your Elementor page and click on templates and upload this new downloaded template. And there you go. Now you have imported this entire template and you can just work from here. And as a bonus, you will also get this forest tower template, which is really cool. But for those who just want to build this from scratch, let's go back into Elementor and start building. Step number one, create a container and make sure you have Flexbox container activated inside Elementor settings. Go ahead and change the width to percentage and set it to 100. The height should be in view height and 400 because now we have a lot space to scroll upon and then go into style and change the background color. Then go ahead and find a new container and drag it inside this container. Make sure it's boxed and the width should be 1330 pixels. For some reason, this is white, so I'll just quickly make it transparent. So now I'll just quickly add in some text content and a heading, uh, some text and a button. I'll just quickly make this white and make it look more appealing. Hold on and done. So now we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and create the container that actually creates the scroll trigger effect. So insert a new container and make sure it's down here at the button and make sure it's full width and the height should be in view height again and set this to 90. Content should be centered and centered aligned or else it won't work. And then I'll just quickly go into style and make this transparent again and go into advanced, find motion effects and make sure sticky is activated at the top. I will recommend that you set this offset to 100 and do the same to effects offset. Before we move on, I will recommend that you find this navigator so we have an overview of what we are building. Just forget this menu and this hero section, which is up here. So the container we made at the beginning, call that the main container. The next container was the text container. And then the container we just made is down here. Let's call that sticky. Okay, so now we have a better overview. All right, last container. And this is the container that actually contains the images. Go ahead and insert a container inside this sticky. So I will just go ahead and scroll down and drag this inside sticky container. So we can just call this expand images and make sure it's the width of 600 and the height should also be 600 and make sure it's centered content and the allied items is centered. Go into style and let's now choose the images we want to use. I'll just insert this and make sure the position is center center and the repeat set to no repeat and cover. You can just leave the rest. Okay, so now this is where the magic happens. You'll need to insert a few lines of code, but don't worry, you don't need to know anything about code, you just need to insert it. So down in the description, I have placed a link where this code is, and all you have to do is just copy it and go back to Elementor and search for the HTML widget. Make sure that you place it down at the bottom like this. Then insert the code that you just copied. And now we only need one more thing because this will not work without the classes. So you just need to find the main container, main container, which is actually the first container we made. Go into advanced 
And here down in CSS classes, you will have to insert this sticky circle wrap that you can also copy from my link. I will just copy it and go back, insert it here. And then we need to insert this class also, which is called circle. And that go down here and find the expand images container and go into CSS classes and insert it here. Now it's actually working, but it's not something that you can see here inside the editor. So I'll just open in a new tab. Okay, let's test it. I scroll down and here we go. Okay, I made a big mistake. Uh, the image should be full width and it should not be sticky all the way down. So I'll just quickly show you how to fix this. Let me go back inside Elementor Editor. And as you can see here, this sticky section container should not be inside of the text container. I don't know why I did this. So this was a mistake. So let me just quickly go ahead and copy this container, delete it and place it outside. So I will just click on the text container and remove it by clicking here on the eye and then insert it. So now you can see it's not inside this text container. So the main container and the text container and the sticky container. Okay, so one more thing, you need to uh, find this HTML and put it down under a sticky container so it's all the way at the bottom or else it won't work. Now it's actually working inside the Elementor editor, which is cool. Okay, so let me go ahead and click update and refresh it should be full width now okay cool but what about the sticky you know it should not be sticky down here so i will just quickly go back to the sticky container go in advanced and motion effects and just toggle this on that's all you have to do stay in column so it expands and it's sticky and here is some white content that's just me creating a lot of space uh, so I can just quickly remove that. So now if you want to create this uh, or make this responsive, I will just quickly show you how. So I will scroll back up and find this HTML code. So what you have to do is go back inside my code and down here you have this option if you want to make it responsive. Go ahead and copy this code and change the old HTML code and this new code has a breaking point for smaller screens. So click update. And when I scroll down, you can now see that this is working on mobile also. If you enjoyed this video and want more scroll trigger tutorials, then check out this next video where I demonstrate how to create a reveal on scroll effect for free. You can watch it right here.